Today, we are gonna find out if Stumble Guys is better with or without the Taunt emote. It's been a feature in-game for a long time now, but as they add more and more maps into the game, it really changes how we play. So, we are gonna be playing 10 different Stumble Guys maps twice. One with Taunt and one without to see which one is more fun overall. And to see if people use the Taunt emote as a crutch, if they win two games in a row, they will get 2,000 gems. So let's see how the players do. Map one, we had to go with the obvious. We have Block Dash Legendary, which everyone in the entire community uses Taunt on this level. So you're gonna see everyone with this yellow exclamation point. There are downsides to Taunt occasionally, but for the most part, it is by far the best emote in the game. Because as you can see, I'm getting knocked around, but if I would have taunted, it would have been a lifesaver. With that being said, Jet is gonna be eliminated here, unfortunately. And we got two, three players left. We got Ray, Wans, and King. But let's take a look at how they use taunt here. So as you can see, he does not move a muscle, get sent straight up, worst case, look at this. It's so broken, which if you're wondering how you get taunt and you're like a completely new player, you can get it in pretty much any stumble pass. And even there are some free taunts. Most of the time you can get them from missions and stuff. And then you just equip it and then you can spam it. Which, that is the one nice thing about taunt. You don't have to necessarily pay for it. Whereas pretty much all the other big mechanics changes for emotes, you do have to pay for. So I think that's why a lot of people would say don't nerf taunt because it's your only defense for the free to play players but at the very least again scopely if you're watching this give me the option to turn off taunt in custom parties it's needed okay hold on wait a minute oh and just like that ray taking game one but he has to win two in a row in order for him to receive the gems. And now we have no taunting. If anyone uses that yellow exclamation mark, they are going to be banned from my server and also from my game. But this also gives us the opportunity to try out shield for once because it's like taunt, but worse. <laughs> so it'll give people a reason to use it. Already seven, eight people are out now, which at, you son of a gun! I didn't even get knocked back. It just slowly pushed me. But as you can see, they are dropping like flies compared to last game. We're already down to our top, what, six here? Are they gonna be able to get over this wall without taunt? Told you, it is absolutely a crutch. We now have TNT. Not able to use taunt. Is he dead? And just like that, <gasps> what a recovery. He's actually at threat of dying in the comeback. Wow. Well done. After each map, I'm going to be asking my Discord on their opinion. And for Legendary Block Dash, it's kind of split. But most people are saying it's better with Taunt. But in my opinion, I completely disagree. Lava Land, on the other hand, I feel like is one where Taunt is absolutely needed. Because otherwise, you die so fast. But as you can see, you can still spam Taunt and manage to live in the first 10 seconds. I'm dying. Help me. Bro, I literally got four shield out of my tile. Don't know how that happened, but we're in a top 15 scenario on Lava Land. Everyone is still just taunting. Three remain. Oh, four. He was invisible. Oh, and just like that, Soup is going to be winning that. Now pay very close attention because people are going to die instantly on this level. Okay, three already done. Oh, there goes about four more, five more. This is by far my favorite map in Stubble, guys, just because it moves so quickly. No! How did I get sent at that angle? We are in a top three, top two, and oh, Aaron taking it. I'm not sure why the poll is going the way it is, but I'm swaying more towards that it does make it better. How on earth did you enjoy Block Dash 10 times more with Taunt? You guys make no sense. I'm voting for that it's better with Taunt. We are back to taunting and we got Rush Hour for the next example. Also, since we have not had a person win two in a row, we're bumping up the prize to 5,000 gems if they're able to somehow win back to back. This one, I have a very... I was gonna say I have a very strong opinion on Rush Hour. I think it's absolutely better with Taunt. Just because it's very hard to jump on the small platforms that we're gonna see here in a minute, that Taunt is so well utilized for this map. I prefer the ability to stop yourself 
But where I have a problem with taunt is the knockback. Basically, remove the whole shield part of it. Or just don't make it better than shield itself. All right, we got Damon versus Finley. And just like that, taunt really doesn't play too much of a factor. I think dice is just so good these days. Just because I think it'll be funny, let's try to get Finley out of here. Since there is now 5,000 gems on the line. He's using the boxer skin. I think I just saw him up there. He's gonna be like right here, I think. Oh, close. Oh! Okay, um, I may have made the wrong video here. Is Dice breaking stumble, guys? Maybe it was a better one. Finley does have an opportunity here to win. He's playing super smart with invisibility. Finley makes it over to the right. They both make it to the small platform. <gasps> the invis punch! He's still alive, though. He doesn't realize it. Turning around. <gasps> Is he still in? No, it's a 1v1. Oh, my God. Finley might be him. Don't get hit again. Dean, come on. Win for me. Oh, God. Wow! That was actually well-deserved. I swear, my Discord is just trolling. How is Rush Hour better without time? I don't know if we're playing the same game, if I'm being honest. If you want to talk about the most broken map with Taunt, we're talking about Bombardment. There's really no threat of the bombs send you anywhere because everyone huddles in the center like it's a mosh pit and you just see flashing yellow. And no one dies until there's platforms gone. We'll be back in about a minute when there's actually a threat of us uh, getting out here. A few moments later. And now we have hit a minute left in the map. Only 10 people eliminated, and the next 20 have to be eliminated in 48 seconds. I doubt that's gonna happen. So it's gonna go to time. Maybe, just maybe we could win. Are we gonna win? Please win. Oh. Now we're gonna see some actual gameplay where people, hey, he's taunting. Crowned, if you win, I swear to God. How did I dive? Okay, we're gonna spectate him. He's trying to be the bad guy here. Where is he? Oh, he's dead. Perfect. People are now dying left and right because there's a threat to get sent around. And it's not everyone just huddling to the center. But see, this is how it's actually supposed to be played. It's crazy how one emo impacts a map that much because it's designed to be played normally. But instead, see, it ran out of... It's so much better without... And my Discord finally agrees with me. 20 to 8. And if you thought that was broken, take a look at Bot Bash. Bot Bash is probably the prime example of Taunt changing the entire level. The first two minutes of the map, there's no threat to dying. As we progress, though, these will all turn to red bots, and then it starts to kind of eventually be a little bit of a threat. I used to be a big taunt enthusiast, but the more that I play Stumble Guys and really make content about this game, the more I realize that I know what's going to happen 24-7 because you have time to recover if you use taunt. Okay, that, not a great example, but this is taking forever. It's going to hit time limit, which I've actually never seen before. Okay, Insano, ooh, gets eliminated. Hold on, there's a chance this could end. 25 seconds on the clock. Only one more person needs to get out. <gasps> but again, Taunt comes into play. And the winner by time limit is MLG. And I know it might be corny, but I'm actually excited to play this because I know it's not with Taunt. And Crown is back in here, bro. Where did I just go? And that's how it's supposed to be played. Even though I died, I'm totally fine with it because I know that's how the level was made. Is MLG still in? He is. He has the opportunity to win. <gasps> Shield saves him. I believe in him. Okay, and unfortunately, MLG gets eliminated. But Shield here seems so much more enjoyable. I didn't really get to use it because I died instantly. But at least from what the poll is saying, people are agreeing as well. With the majority saying Bot Bash is better without Taunt. We have five more maps to go through, and it's going to get even more broken. Next up, we got UFO MG, which is another one where I think Taunt is way better with. Just because this UFO that pushes instead of pulls is so annoying to deal with. Can I play the game? Oh, T-Bones? Why did I not know about this? Uh, well, I imagine Scopely's probably gonna watch this video. Patch this for me, please. Oh, <laughs> that's what you get. And he dies for it too. <laughs> Maybe you don't need to patch it. Let's see if it happens to him. I mean, <laughs> it does seem kind of broken if you ask me. 
I hope he- Yes, he died for it too! Oh my gosh, and... Wait, Yoda stupid? No way. This is one of the most intense UFOMG lobbies I've ever seen. You get so lucky there. Wait, watch for the lasers above your head! Oh my god! Watch it! Oh! GG! Little bit of a mix-up. We are playing without emotes, period. So, no taunt, but also no emotes at all. Again, this is the sixth map, so we still have four more to go after this. I think overall, my answer is yes. Taunt makes the game somewhat worse. Does it break it completely? Obviously not, but I think it's worth talking about. Oh, please! Wait! Wait, this is a pro strat. No! I thought I was gonna get pulled up. What I'm now realizing is UFOMG at high level is actually a really fun map. I think it's underrated for sure. We got Wans versus King. <laughs> that was the most random occurrence of events there. What? And I'm pretty indifferent on whether it was better or worse with Taunt, uh, but more people are saying that it makes the level worse if you do use Taunt. I don't know. When I say what's about to come out of my mouth, I mean with my entire heart. If we use Taunt on this level, I would rather uninstall the game than play it. It is that boring. I'm literally just gonna go lay down in my bed while they play this out because I don't want to play this. I'll just let you watch the gameplay and let it speak for itself. It's finally over! This is actually gonna be fun now. I turned on all emotes and people are gonna use shield instead. Oh no, shield me! <gasps> I'm honestly so tired because I laid down. Now I wanna just take a nap. Wait, there's still this glitch? I thought they patched this. <laughs> the game is actually just broken. Oh, I think we have to count it, right? <laughs> I don't even know. I am so much happier to play Acid Pool than Yeti Yeats. Like, the fact that it could go... <gasps> so much quicker makes it that much more enjoyable. We have three maps left, by the way. Acid Pool with Taunt is next up. The only person to get two wins in a row, by the way, has been Finley. Down to three people. And at this point, Taunt really isn't even being used. Baby is taking the other strategy, though. Just holding on the inside edge. It's a 1v1 now. And the strategy works. Okay. Since this video is taking forever, we're now turning off Invis and Shield. So now it's all about playing aggressive. Let's see the counter just fly off the board. Top five. It's so much faster paced. Look, I am in love with this. Oh my God. Defensive emotes are the worst. Tell me this was not entertaining. Oh my God. Um... Can I not catch a break today? My Discord just announced to me that he taunted and I was too focused on the actual gameplay to realize that. So in fact, I actually won that game and they all say that taunt ruins the map. The final two maps. My favorite, we got Laser Tracer. Again, we're back to taunt and I have a chance to win my own challenge here. Never mind. You'd be surprised how much time actually impacts Laser Tracer, especially like mid game, because at the end you don't have time to taunt, but towards the beginning it saves you from a lot of deaths. I'm also realizing that the faster the gameplay, the more I like the map. Because if I think about like my favorite maps, we got Laser Tracer, Lava Land, both of those are the quickest in the game. Oh my god, T Bones is nasty with the new emote. Watch, he's gonna land it. Oh, well. That was underwhelming. And here we go again. Let's use the sword emote. Oh God, I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> All right, top three and T-Bones was not able to make it. Oh, that was way quicker. And for whatever reason, the votes are starting to sway. I think it's whatever I put first in the category. So let me know in the comments for each of these, which did you prefer? Because without taunt is winning by a mile. And to bring it full circle, we're ending it off with Block Dash Endless. No emotes are going to be on, so this means we're going to get the sweatiest possible outcome 
for this map. If you don't remember, we hosted a $1,000 competition to hit wave 1,000, which we found out to be impossible. But recently, people have been trying to break the record, and I believe it's over like 500 now. So with Taunt... I want to see what wave we can get and then without taunt see how it compares i'm not going to be able to commentate over this entire thing so i'll be back when we lose uh some people i think needless to say um taunt is something whether you want to say it's good or bad it's become part of stumble guys and it changes the game so much in fact that i think they should evaluate maybe changing the properties of it and at the very least just give me a button to turn off taunt 169 bruh for a random video oh the body block what an actual good way to end the match and here we have the final game. No taunt, no shield, no invisibility. We got endless block dash. And for this final game, it's for 5,000 gems. And if Trent manages to win, he gets another 5,000, which will make it 10,000. We are five waves down and 16 people are already dead. It's so much nicer, dude. Taunt breaks stumble guys. Dare I say ruins stumble guys sometimes. Does it ruin this level? Maybe not. No! We're in top three. Yoda Stupid has to clutch here. And he gets out from the spike. Wow, the dice. Is he able to get back around? Nice. Now has to clutch. He doesn't do it. Bro. Editor, if you could put on screen the time it took for the last game compared to this one, that is mind-blowing and as a final poll for the people that are still around after basically last game was a two hour long movie it is dead even on whether block dash is better or worse with taunt let me know what you guys think does taunt ruin stumble guys in some ways yes in some ways no hopefully you guys enjoyed the effort that i put into this video because it took two hours of recording and if you do appreciate it make sure you use code baby yoda in the item shop to see more from me and i am going to go sleep goodbye